Yo, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Senior of Video 34, and I'm here today to talk about Indominus Rex from Jurassic World. And why, you must be asking. Well, because there is a mystery around this dinosaur's DNA. Um, so, so far, we know that it's actually not part of Therizinosaurus. Uh, different websites have changed it, which would make sense because the, the belly would be a bit more plump. There would be a lot more feathers. The tail would be a bit shorter. I think the feet would be a bit stockier. Uh, the claws would definitely be longer. And its neck would be quite a bit longer, so yeah. Uh, good thing it's not Therizinosaurus, so yeah, I pretty much screwed up on that. <laughs> oh well, be right. Um, but there is a mystery to this dinosaur, and basically the DNA that we know is T-Rex, Giganotosaurus, Velociraptor, Carnotaurus, Majungasaurus, Rugops, and then there are additional animals like Snake, uh, Tree Frog, and Cuttlefish. That's nine pieces of DNA with the addition of a mystery DNA or mystery DNAs. Uh, but so far, the only mystery DNA that I can figure out is bird DNA. Why? Because there are sources that help me back up. First of all, it has feathers. No, not not none of the none of the dinosaurs in Jurassic in Jurassic World and Jurassic Park have feathers, apart from the raptors in Jurassic Park Three. But really, we don't count that as a as a we don't canon that. <laughs> yeah, no, it was such a bad film. We don't canon it, even though it had feathered dinosaurs in it. So it it be it makes sense for the mixing of these two animals, these two relatives, or well basically pretty much relative dinosaurs, because birds are dinosaurs. So yeah, and um, and this would therefore create proto feathers because this dinosaur seems to have proto feathers, not not really the basic feathers that we have today, just feathers that branch out and all that and all. It's just it don't look right. But proto feathers, yes, that's a yes from me. Um, but are there any additional animals in there? I don't think so, in my opinion. I think bird is the only other additional DNA. Plus, because on the Jurassic World website, it does state that dinosaurs in this park have have bird DNA used in them because it stops them from changing their sex, like in the first film with the tree with the uh, different frog DNA bits they spliced in. But um, what do I what do I think about this um, the uh, mystery DNA? It's bizarre because there are so many other dinosaurs you can think of. Um, but let's look at the base that we got. We've got a. And basically, look at the attributes that Indominus Rex has taken from these other dinosaurs. So, first of all, it has the size of T Rex and Giganotosaurus, pretty much. Uh, T Rex's teeth, because the teeth in the film were really, really robust, really banana shaped. It has the claws, arms, and I'd say the posture and neck of a raptor, a velociraptor. Um, it has the osteoderms and horns of a Carnotaurus and maybe a Rugops and Majungasaurus. It has a bit of a stubby face, a bit of a chunk, uh, chunky short face like a uh, Rugops, like a Majungasaurus because they are a Bellasaurus. It has a quite a big gape on its in its jaws, so that would definitely come from a uh, snake. Feathers, like I just said, from the bird. Uh, the ability to change its colour, like a cuttlefish. The ability to, to uh, change its body temperature like a tree frog. Uh, it has the four it has four fingers and I believe that's that's come from uh, the Carnotaurus because the the Velociraptors have long large fingers and large claws, but then you got that little stubby thumb claw that you probably get on the Bellosaurids. Um but are there any other additional DNA now if you look at this I don't see any other evidence of DNA but maybe there is, maybe there isn't, maybe I haven't seen it yet. Maybe, maybe I just can't see it. Maybe we can't see it. Maybe we'll never know. But you know, it's good to have a mystery. It's good to speculate because I reckon a lot of people will be saying, "Oh, there might be a bit of Allosaurus DNA." No, there might be a bit of Spinosaurus DNA. There might be a bit of 
herbivore DNA like, I don't know, uh, Carifosaurus or Parasaurolophus in there, or Hadrosaurus, Edmontosaurus. Some people can go wild with it. Some people can say, oh no, there's some Ankylosaurus DNA in there. You know what? It's, it's good to speculate. It's fun to speculate. And I just hope that you guys agree with me on the bird DNA because it's, the mo it's one of the most logical pieces of DNA. But I have no idea of what the other bits of DNA or if this if the bird DNA is the only DNA, then there is, there are no other bits of DNA. But let's just speculate that there, there are other bits of DNA. I don't know if there are any other bits of DNA. But you know what? It's fun to speculate, and uh, I'd like to see your guys comments in the in the comment section below on what you think are other bits of DNA that could be contained within Indominus Rex's uh, makeup. So uh, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and I shall see you later. Bye bye.